Hello and welcome to my channel Arabic with Mirena. In this video we are going to cover this word that we always hear about which is fi. And we think that this fi means in. But no, it doesn't mean in in the spoken Arabic. So let's see what does this fi mean. This fi, it has three uses in the spoken Arabic. In the standard Arabic, we just have one use for this fee, which means in. But in the spoken, let's begin today with having these three uses. The first use of this fee, it means there is or there are. There is, there are. For example, let me give you an example. Fee, akil, bi al barad. Fee, akil. There is food in the refrigerator. There is food in the fridge. Fi, there is akil, the food. And then bi, which is in, and then albarad, which is the fridge. Fi, akil bi, atalaje. Talaje, talaje, it's also the fridge. So, why we have two words for the fridge in Arabic, spoken Arabic? Why? Because. I will tell you why. Of course, it's not our subject right now, but I will tell you why anyway. So for fridge, we came with two words coming from two roots. Let's speak about the roots first and then let's go to the word fridge in Arabic. So the first word is barid. Barid, cold. Barid. So barid is cold. This is why we made the word fridge barad. Barad, it makes the food colder cold which means barad 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 that's it the second one the second one for the fridge is the laje where it comes from let's think it comes from talish 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 means the ice 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 and snow both of them in arabic are the same ice snow is talish in spoken arabic this is why we called the fridge talage because it makes it I see. It makes it ice. It makes it cold too. So we have two words for the fridge right now, which are telaje and barad. Telaje, barad. That's it. So this is for the fridge. I just wanted to say these because some of you would tell me, ah, uh, no, I know that the fridge is barad. It's not telaje. And some of you would tell me, no, it's not telaje. It's barad. So yes, this is why. <laughs> anyway, let's go back to this fee. Fee, 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 fee. You always hear this. Again, fee akil bil barad, fee akil bil telaje, fee maktabe bi bayti. There is a library in my house. Fee bahar bi madinti. There is a sea in my city. Fee madine adime bi madinti. There is an old city in my city. So this is fee. Fee, 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 fee. Also, we, for example, we have it in some expressions for the greetings and some other things in like expressions in spoken Arabic. Like if you told someone, shufi, shufi. For example, I was on a taxi. I was in a taxi and uh, the driver is driving. Then it, he just stopped. Well, I would just say, shufi, I'm shocked, shufi. What there is, what there are means like what happened shufi shufi and also we use this shufi for a person maybe who is upset or a little bit sad so he will or i will tell them shufi shufi rana ليش زعلانه what happened rana why are you sad shufi rana what happened rana shufi rana ليش مزعوجه why are you upset so shufi shufi and then the perfect expression in the Levantine area, especially in Syria, we have this expression of saying shufi, mafi. <laughs> so instead of saying hi, how are you, what's happened with you, what's your news, what's up with you, etc. like the greetings we said before, we would say shufi, mafi. What there is, there is not, means what's up. So shufi, mafi, shufi, mafi, shufi, mafi, rana, mafi, shi. Mafishi. Mafishi means there is nothing. Mafishi. Also, I can say Mafishi bil barad. 
ما في شي بالثلاجه ما في شي ببيتي there is nothing in my house ما في خزانة ببيتي there is no closet in my house ما في ما في ما في so this is there is there are there is there are there isn't there aren't which you would say ما في ما في ما في جبنة بالبراد ما في لبنة بالبراد ما في تبولة اليوم <laughs> there is no تبولة today so, so this is how would we make there is there are in Arabic. You will hear it a lot. Fi, 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 fi. Shufi, ma fi. Shufi, ma fi. Fi. All of these. So, this is how would we use the first use of this fi, which is there is, there are. There is, there are. There isn't, there aren't. So, again, fi means there is, there are. And ma fi means there isn't, there aren't. This is the first use. Let's see the second one. The second use of this fee. For the second use, we have to conjugate this fee because it means can I? Could I? Can you? Could you? Can we? Could we? Etc. So, this is for example for saying can I please or could I please uh, open the door? Could you open the door? Could you do this for me? Etc. So let's first conjugate it and then let's see how to make sentences. Conjugating this fi for saying can or could, we would say fini, I can or I could, fini, fino, he can, he could, fino, fina, she can, she could, she can, she could, fion, fion means they can, they could. For the second person conjugation, we will have two choices. Some people would say this, some people would say that. Let's see what are the two choices we will have. The first choice we will have is, if you want to say, can you masculine, could you masculine? I'm speaking to the masculine, it doesn't mean I'm the masculine, no. It means I'm speaking to you, you are a male. So I would say, fik. Can you? Could you? Masculine fik. Or some people would say finak, fik, finak. You can choose. So both of them are understandable. Both of them are perfect to say. But some people would say that. Some people would say this. And for me, myself, I would say both of them. Sometimes this and sometimes that. I don't know why. Maybe the tone of the whole sentence I'm saying. I don't know. Finak truh mai mishwar. Can you go with me? Outside, have a walk. Fik truh my mishwar, the same thing. Fik finak, fik finak. For the you feminine, could you feminine or can you feminine, I would say, or you can or you could. So I would say, fiki, fiki, finik, fiki finik, fiki finik. Both of them are correct as well. Fi kon, fi kon, without the n in the middle. And then you can say, fin kon, fin. Con, so you will add an N. So again, you can choose. With this second person, you can choose. Now, the last one is Fina. 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 Can we? So here, no need to put or not put the N because we already have the N of the Na. So this is why it's fine. Whether you put it or not, it's fine. It's the same. So Fina. Fina. Can we? Could we? Also, some other examples. Anna. Fini Ruh Ala Lubnan Bukra. I can go to Lebanon tomorrow. I can. I can. As a question, Fiki Rana Truhi Ala Lubnan Bukra. Can you go to Lebanon tomorrow? For example, Fini Fini If Tashibak, can I open the window? Fiki, can you, feminine Fiki, Tiftahi Shibak? من فضلك بليز فيكي تفتحي الشباك فيكي تفتحي الباب فيني روح على السوق can I go to the souk to the market فيني اطلع برا can I go outside can I go out outside فيني روح معك can I go with you so this is the second use of the can in Arabic spoken Arabic. 
Now let's see the last part of this fee, the last use of this fee. The last use of this fee is literally same as the standard, but it's not so common. So this is why I will not explain it so much because it's same as the standard and it's not so common in the spoken. This is why I will not go over it. But it's fee means in. Fee in. For some, some countries, not the Levantine, they would say fee for saying in. Fia, fia, in it. If the it was feminine, you would say fia, fio. Fion, in them, fion. It's not so used because it's the same exact translation as saying there is or there is not. Maybe there is something in the bag, in the bag. Instead of saying in it, in the bag, in it the bag, it's really weird, so we will just say there is, there are. For example, fi kutub, fi kutub bi shanta means there are books in the bag, and that's it. This is why I will not go over the last part, the last uh, use, which is not so common. It doesn't have any matter if we just go over it or not. So that's it. This is the whole idea about this fee. If you heard it before from an Arab, it does not mean in. No, it means so many other things. So that's it. I hope you like it. If you like it as usual, please click the subscribe button and please also click on the bell so you can see the new videos. And if you like it, please comment below, share and make a like. Press the like button so I can know that you like my videos and you want more. I see you in next videos. Bye!